I'm Susan Miranda, President of the North Coast Regional Land Trust Board of Directors. On behalf of the board, thank you so much for joining us for our annual celebration, Boots and Birkenstocks. While we all wanted to be together in person this year, we really appreciate you showing up virtually to bid in the online auction and to learn about the Land Trust's largest conservation easement to date, Hunter Ranch. I'd like to take a moment to thank our top sponsors for this year's fundraiser and film. American Ag Credit, Humboldt Mendocino Redwood Company, Hubbard's German Auto, Pearson Building Center, and Points West Surveying. And a big thank you to all the folks in our community who believe that conservation of our wild and working lands is essential. We couldn't do this work without your support. Please enjoy the film. Welcome to all who are tuning in to our now second virtual Boots and Birkenstocks annual celebration. For all who thought 2020 was challenging, 2021 seems to have doubled down with everything it is throwing our way. Still, amidst it all, the North Coast Regional Land Trust has been busier than ever with more conservation easement projects underway at one time than ever before. This puts us on a trajectory to nearly double the area of lands conserved in the next five years. Also, after more than a year of virtual field trips, we are excited to welcome kids in person at Freshwater Farms Reserve and offer other limited in-person educational and stewardship events. So for this year's program, I want to turn the virtual stage over to two people who've played unique roles and pivotal roles on the conservation and stewardship of the Hunter Ranch, our land trust's largest conservation easement to date. So you'll hear from Jeremy Fulton, who with his family have been stewarding the Hunter Ranch since the 1970s. You also hear from Shane Green, an ecologist and project consultant who played a pivotal role in completing the conservation easement and is currently working on oak woodland restoration on the Hunter Ranch property. While working on this film project, I was reminded of how many people it takes to steward and conserve vital landscapes and habitats in our region and how important each of you are in the work. Your contributions support the conservation of places like the expansive Hunter Ranch, as well as ongoing educational programs, stewardship events, and recreational opportunities. Thank you all for joining us and for all your support through the years. My family's been here, this is be the fourth generation on this property. Uh, we run a cow-calf and uh, we run yearlings on the property. You know, we'll have anywhere from 50, 75 cows at a time, but we try to just kind of make a rotation through the ranch, like I said. My wife, Shannon, and my two daughters, Sierra and Hayden, they really help out out here on the ranch. There's been ranches over at Neyland that my family owned and they've split that up in different sections. Fortunate enough that this ranch is in the conservation easement that they can't split it up because ranching in those places that are split up, it doesn't work. You look from this point here all the way back to the front end of the ranch and don't see any greenhouses or cabins or or anything else. It's just as a whole, it's nice. So I first became involved with the Hunter Ranch in about 2014. The landowner came to the land trust. I was working uh, for the land trust at the time and 15,000 acre property, exemplary conservation values. One of the neat things about it is just set in such diverse and iconic landscape with its bald hills, prairie lands, dotted with cattle and utilized by herds of elk to the deep canyon of the main stem Mad River with jutting rocks that come from there. Really the scenic oak woodland and the majesty of mature inland forest. Those were all things that really uh, appealed to the land trust. The landowner's been really generous in working with Cal Fish and Wildlife to not only really do fish surveys to find out what is going on there with fisheries, but also but there's been a lot of involvement in 
overall good stewardship practices and restoration from offsite watering systems for the cattle operation that utilizes the ranch to oak woodlands restoration and invasive species control. It's really helped because we're still here on the ranch. They decided they wanted to, to go forward with the, the easement to help with the ranch of keeping it whole. They want to do different projects in saving the, the oaks. Oak woodlands are considered one of the richest ecosystems really in North America in terms of the number of species that it, it supports during some stage of the life cycle. Over 300 different species utilize oak woodland. So from a standpoint of contributing to biological diversity of both our state and our region, the oak woodlands are super important for that reason. We do find that a large part of our rangelands in Humboldt and southwestern Trinity County really co-occur with these oak woodlands and, and that's where a lot of our ranch lands occur. So for me, this is just such a great area in terms of its diversity, its beauty, its agriculture, and all the people that care about keeping it productive and beautiful. Your support makes all of this possible and your participation in the online auction this week is a great way to help. Along with items from some of the region's finest producers, artists, and businesses, you can make a donation to the Land Trust through the online auction by selecting package number one called Donation for Conservation. Regardless of the amount, your gift can make a sizable impact. Thanks for your support.